Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Lucas here. here and today I have a super fun activity for you called basket soccer. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a sock ball. We're going to be doing some kicking inside so sock ball perfect for indoors. Take a couple socks, roll them up, you're good to go. You're going to need a few items to mark some spaces on the floor. Uh, it could be anything you could use, uh, some books, you could use some extra socks. I'm using some markers that I had, uh, just some regular markers just like this. They uh, are just going on the floor. You're not going to be stepping on them. You're not going to be kicking them. They're just going to be letting you know where to kick from. And then later, we're going to be using uh, a timer. Uh, you could, if you have a timer, that's great. If you don't, you could just simply watch the clock and you're good to go. Uh, and then lastly, of course, to play basket soccer, you're going to need a laundry basket. That's under the camera here, so you probably can't see that. We'll move that a little bit later. Okay, uh, before we get started, a quick reminder, remember that every time we practice kicking for many various activities we do in class, uh, we always talk about kicking with different parts of our foot so that we are thinking about um, what part of the foot we're using. And, and what we're going to be using today is we're going to be using the inside of our foot. So two things I want you to think about during this activity. One is stepping with the opposite foot. So let's say this is the ball, and I hope you can see this on the camera. So that's the ball. So what you're going to do is you're going to step with the opposite foot. Okay, I kick with my left foot, so this is my kicking foot. This is my opposite foot. So I step with my opposite foot, and then when I go to kick, I'm going to be using today, today we're going to be using the inside of our foot. So this part right here. So I'm going to step with the opposite foot, and then when I go to kick, I'm going to be using the inside of my foot, it's going to help us with some accuracy. Okay, so here is how it works. There are three different levels. You choose your distance for this. You, if you want it to be easier, you can move all the uh, markers closer, all of the items closer. If you want it to be more difficult, spread them out, make it much, much farther. That's good too. Here's how it works. We're going to start with the sock ball at the first marker. Okay, and of course the basket underneath the camera is the goal. It's laying sideways. I'll, I'll uh, hopefully be able to move the camera in a moment. And you're gonna kick the sock ball. If you get it in the basket, okay, you're going to go up, grab your sock ball. Now, here's the deal. Today, we're not using our hands at all. So you're going to run up to the, to the basket, grab the sock ball out with your foot, dribble it back until you get to the next marker, okay, where you're going to kick again, opposite foot, inside of the foot. If you score a goal, run up, dribble the ball back to the third one. Okay, the most difficult one, same thing. Give it a kick. If you make it, awesome. Now, once we use the timer, and you can practice this now, once you beat the third level and you go get your ball, you're going to dribble it back to the first level, okay? So you already beat every single one. You come back to the first one, but before you can kick, we're going to do 10 jumping jacks. Okay, so you don't have to do 10 jumping jacks at each one. Just when you come back to the first one again, we're going to do 10 jumping jacks and then keep on going, okay? so. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to give it a try first, and then you're going to be up. Uh, I think we're going to go with, let's go, let's, uh, hmm. I'm going to do a one minute challenge. You can try that if you want to play against my score. You could try a two minute challenge. That would be good too. If, one more thing, if you don't have a lot of room, like Mr. Lucas right here, I don't have a whole lot of room. Um, I have enough for three different levels. If you want to play this, you could put the markers one, two, three this way. You could... You could just put them at random spots around a room. That would work good too. You could start at this one and go to this one, this one, this one, depending on your space. If you have a lot of space, then you could really stretch them out and go really far um, if, you are, if you feel like you can do so. Okay, so uh, without further ado, let's get started. One quick thing when we're inside doing activities is to make sure that you are in a safe space where you can move around and that you have permission to use that space for these activities and that you're using appropriate indoor equipment as well. Okay, here we go. Minute 
through two rounds plus one extra goal in the third round before the timer went off. Almost got that second one, but just missed. Uh, and so here's how, what you're going to do now is when you're done, you'll calculate your points. So while you're playing the game, think about how many rounds you're going through. So once I make it through all three, I, that means I completed a round. I'm moving on to the next one. Complete all three. That means I completed two rounds. And then I went on to the third one, but I didn't finish the third one. Okay, so, um, so I had two completed rounds. Each round, I can score three goals. So let's calculate our points now. If I can score three goals in a round, and I completed two rounds, that would be three plus three, or three times two, how many points would that be? Okay, and then I scored one extra goal at the end, right before the timer went off, um, and that would give me one extra point. So my total was seven, seven points. It's going to be your turn in just a moment. A couple things just to add here is uh, please make sure that you're taking time to practice before you start the timer um, and start the challenge. Practice from kicking from different angles in the room, different distances. Um, a couple other things you can do. Uh, you could take a small pillow and put it in front of the basket. Uh, you, could, uh, you don't want it to take up the whole basket, but just in the front. Uh, you can move it to the left, to the right, put it right in the middle, and that could act as a goalie. That's a lot of fun. Uh, one other thing you could do is you could uh, mix up the exercises you're doing in the front. We were doing jumping jacks. You could do uh, some push-ups or some mountain climbers uh, just to switch it up a little bit, okay? Uh, but I want you to have a lot of fun with this. Get a lot of practice in with your kicking here. I'm so happy you stopped by PE today, and I will see you next time.